Hi everyone, uh, today I want to talk to you about pushing, uh, pushing for an outcome in particular and that leading to inevitably us speeding up. Um, one thing I've really noticed about uh, not only my life but also when I talk to clients or when I talk to family members, friends, is that they talk about going too fast. And what I mean here is it's not literally going too fast, you know, running or, or, or uh, trying to go light speed, but it's the uh, intention or, or the uh, internal speed. And one of the things that I've talked to uh, a few clients about, a few prospective people, and, and as I said, indeed, in my own life, one of the things I've noticed is that we tend to, uh, or if I personalise it for an example in my life, I tend to uh, get get something or have something on a particular outcome in my life, you know, whether that be related to my job, whether that be related to my performance, uh, whether that's in relation to, to, to my coaching, or even uh, in relation to relationships. When I start to have uh, something on that outcome, a certain outcome like um, a promotion, more money, um, or just my appreciation for myself doing a good job, once I've got something on that, and, and I think that my happiness is coming from me achieving that, you know, whether, whether uh, I classify myself as doing a good job or whether I uh, get that promotion raise for my clients, whether they get um, whether they get a new job it themselves. And and really, when we or when I have misunderstood that my happiness, my my satisfaction, my my worth comes from, sorry, comes from that external thing then if we don't start to get it, then we start to push. We start to push and we start to rack our brain, rack our brain uh, and speed up and speed up and speed up and try and get to that end goal quicker. Because we think, I think, or I thought, that that is where my happiness lies. I need to get into that relationship. I need to get that promotion, the salary, the house, whatever. I need to get it and I need to get it now because I, I'm not particularly feeling brilliant, uh, for an example. And once we put that happiness outside ourselves and start pushing and pushing and pushing, then inevitably we get up in our heads and inevitably my clients or, or the people I talk to, I mean in the past, get up in our head and we go faster, faster and faster, trying to figure out and trying to analyse what we want or, or a way to get to what we want and try to do that now and the in inevitable result is that we get in our head we get confused if it persists then uh, and as i had in the past i get stressed um or, or my clients my friends get stressed and they get rushed but the good thing is, is that it doesn't have to be like that. I'm no longer stressed. I was earlier in the year, I'm not. And, and I'm talking to uh, my clients or prospective clients. And they are starting to see that slowing down, having those goals, you know, having that goal of having a, a, a more money, a house, a relationship, etc. You know, you can have those goals. But... The difference is, is that you can have those without the feeling of need. The happiness or your happiness, my happiness, doesn't rely on those external things. And once we can see that for certainty, once we can trust that, then we can slow down and we can slowly work towards those goals. But in doing so, we're not feeling that rushed state and not getting up in our head trying to figure out all the possibilities or the things I need to figure out to get to that target you can slow down you can see what arises because inevitably uh, we live in a world of opportunities and 
at all times we have opportunities to get to our goals, our wishes. And if we're pushing, 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 and I liken this in a recent coaching conversation to, to a cone, if we're pushing and pushing and pushing, then all we will see is that end goal. We won't see any of the opportunities around it. But if we take a step back and slow down, have that appreciation or have the uh, have the eyes on the target, but we slow down and we have a wider vision. We have that open cone. Uh, there is there is no metaphorical cone, but you have that open cone with 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 more possibilities and 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 things coming at you. So when we slow down, when we stop pushing for that thing that we think is going to make us feel better, but inevitably it doesn't. When we slow down, we can uh, and view that aim from a neutral perspective of just wanting. Then we can we can see all the opportunities, and inevitably we don't get rushed. When I talk to my clients, they you know when they when they learn that, then they can similarly slow down, take the pace of life, and and see all the possibilities that that are already around them. They don't have that closed cone um of uh trying to think of a clever word to say here but they 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 have that they have they don't have that closed cone or or they're not going down a dark alleyway they can see a, a light and they can see possibilities and and really that that is all I wanted to say I wanted to say that we don't have to push you know you can work hard but you don't have to push and push and push uh, for that end goal and if you don't, then then what I have found personally and what I've found from people I talk to is that they have a, uh, a, a nicer day, a nicer month, but a nicer life. And and what happens is that they inevitably get to their goal, they get to the target, but in a in a nicer manner and not in such a stressed manner.